from oh 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 this is good this is good this is really good so yes basically what i did is i replaced these beats with the QC35s, otherwise known as the Quiet Comfort 35s, the second version. And the reason being, um, well, let me go ahead and say that I bought these studio beats probably like a year, a year and a half ago. They did a really good job, honestly. They have really good music quality, at least from a bass and music perspective. When I used to edit videos, you know, they would still have clear sound. So the noise canceling feature worked pretty well as well. It wasn't a bad set of headphones, but there was a few things that really just got on my nerves and I just was kind of fed up with it. The first thing being is when I would put these on, get on a bus or a train and I would be editing videos, after like 30 to 35 minutes, I literally had to just take them off because they would hurt my head, I would get a headache, I would get my ears really sweaty and just wasn't really comfortable. Like let's imagine babies crying or something, I'd have to take this off after 30 minutes and I have to listen to the baby cry. So for me, having headphones that were comfortable was a really huge factor and something that probably would go around my ears rather than sticking on them. Then the second thing that I really didn't like, I don't know if you could see this, but the second thing I didn't like is really just the ear cups. The ear cups shredded so easily and I don't know if it's because of the fact that I would sweat because it would make my head hurt or make me have a headache, but for just some reason they would always shred. In fact, these are the second cups that I've received. I had to send them back in because the other ones were just tearing so much that I would sometimes get a little black filaments like all around my, my ears. So I was just like, no, I need to replace them. And my roommate gave me the recommendation of these bows. So I was like, you know what? Why not do a quick unboxing, show you guys what's in the box, let you know what my first thoughts are. And then again, help you decide whether or not you should get these or you should get these. So let's go ahead and dive right into the box. So first things first, let's go ahead and get these guys out of the way and solely worry about this guy right here. So this is the box. It is the Midnight Blue Edition, limited edition. I think you can find it at Apple stores or Best Buy as well. All right, so let's open this guy. You know what we'll do, guys? We'll add, we'll add this guy right here. We'll add Mr. Black Panther to kind of help with the re review as well. So here is the box. If you open it up. Oh, that's a nice case. Even the box says limited edition. I'm gonna move old boy actually out of here because he's kind of in the way. Sorry, Black Panther. Here we go. Wow, those are clean. So this looks like it is the headphone cord. Yep. Oh, they have a nice pouch right here too. Oh, that's clutch. This cord right here looks like it is the charger. Looks like a standard USB micro or micro USB. And then the main guys are kind of folded, interestingly. That's how it looks. Okay, cool. These guys are the bows, man. This blue is a very, very nice boot. It's definitely a midnight blue type color. The pads feel great. This is a little bit softer up here. Clearly when you fold them up, it looks like the beats are a little bit smaller when you fold them up. The beats are a little bit more compact. The cup sizes, you can tell inside these feel a lot different than these guys on the inside. Looks like it's a tad bit wider. Yeah, it looks like it's a tad bit wider. There's not this really soft kind of like plushy looking material right here, which seems like it's gonna be really good for my head. If you look at the side buttons, on the Beats, they have basically just one button. Well, three buttons, technically. So you have one right here, which kind of powers it on. Then you have the volume up, volume down, and stop music um, by pressing the B. This one looks like, I have to read the directions, but when I was trying it on the store, it's almost similar kind of thing. It's volume up, volume down, pause music, pair music. Um, and then at the bottom, of course, you could plug in the 3.5 millimeter jack, or you could charge your headphones. Hold up. Why are there scratches on this guy? I see scratches on this guy, or it might be, okay, it's not there, okay. That might be something to be concerned of because this material is a little bit different than this material. This could scratch easily. And I guess that's how you turn on the Bluetooth and turn off the Bluetooth. Other than that, I really like the function, but this color, man, that looks like it could be scratched really, really bad. Let me go ahead and test to see how these actually sound. And uh, yeah, I'll let you guys know my thoughts about the feel and everything. So let's go ahead and uh, zoom back up. So very, very impressed with these guys. Um, I definitely like the feel. My ears are definitely all covered in this one. Like it almost kind of feels like my 
my ears are being like kind of cupped over. Let me go ahead and test the the music functionality. I gotta play something that's like so I'm being something that's kind of kind of new. I think I'm gonna do some uh, some Drake. You can't go wrong with Drake. Wow. So literally, I plugged her in, and the first thing that she said was battery at 70%. Now connecting to Noah's iPhone. That's cool. You didn't get that kind of voice back feature on any beats. She would get is a do 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 do. That's it, like a powering on, powering off. I might have to do like an Apple Music versus Spotify video because I actually stopped um, Spotify for just a little bit just so I could see what Apple Music had to offer. And let's do sickle mode, but not just any sickle mode. You gotta go to Drake's part on sickle mode. Like a light. Oh, 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 oh. This is good. This is good. This is really good. Ooh, okay. That was good. I like that. That was that was solid. It was like comfortable. I definitely feel like I can't hear anything outside of my immediate vicinity. There's basically a high and low feature where you can basically, the high is world class noise cancellation with Bose optimized audio. And the other is basically low noise cancellation, fine tuned for audio listening in quieter or windy environment. So not where it's like totally taking everything else out. And then of course you have noise cancellation off. So got to test that in some real world tests, see how that goes. But other than that, very, very impressed. So again, love the case, very clean, limited edition. You could tell this one is kind of like their premium type of look. I love the pockets that you have literally on everything. Even inside you have pockets, enough space. You feel good. I, I, I can like sit with these on all day. They feel great. So final thoughts and if you should, you know, get these or you should get these guys. So really try both of them on. Like you can go to an Apple store and try both of them on. And I think you should first go by seeing if they go over your ears or if they end up on your ears based off of your ear size. If they go on your ears, go for the one that's bigger, the one that covers it so it's not gonna annoy you by just sitting on your ears. So that's, that would be the first thing I would say. Second thing I would say is think about if you really want those extra smart features. So this has like the Alexa voice, Google, home. I'm not sure. Don't listen to me. I would say just try them on. They are both really good. I think, I still think the bass is a little bit better in this one to be completely honest, but I can't hold these on my ears for long. So these are definitely the winner. I will automatically say the things that surprised me the most, or at least were like a wow factor, were the talking. This Bose is talking to me saying, Noah, you have 70% battery, you are now connected to this, or need to connect to Bluetooth. I'm sorry, that blows my mind that my headphones are talking to me. So I think that's a really cool feature. You also have to remember there's a lot more color options to this guy. So they have different colors like red, black, blue, pink, limited edition gold. They have so many color options. These basically, they have the black, they have the silver, and they have the midnight blue. But if you go onto the Bose website, for $50 more, you can customize it to how much you want to look at. Which leads me to the third thing is the price. These are 350 I think these right now really range from like 200 to 300 depending if you get them used or new. So you want to keep that in mind, paying a little bit extra for, you know, the extra little bit of comfort, way better noise canceling. And for me, when it comes to video editing and watching movies or just listening to music on the bus, on the plane, these are just, I could just see myself liking these a lot more. So I'm excited, happy for the purchase. If you have any questions, please let me know what other tech or product reviews or comparisons should I do. Go ahead and put that in the comment box below. I hope this video was super helpful for you. I'll catch you later. You already know, embrace the hype.